Well, the NFL draft is here, and let's go on and get it out the way and evaluate the worst draft picks in team history. Those who forget history are doomed to repeat it. Now, I know, I know. It's got to be 2016 first-rounder Josh Dotson, right? I'm telling you, this is Josh's year! Or 2001 first-rounder Rod Gardner, another high draft pick wasted. Bruce Smith named him 50-50 since there was a 50% chance he would drop any pass that was thrown to him. Roberto Duran already had the rights to hands of stone, but 50-50 is almost as memorable. How about Taylor Jacobs, 44th overall in 2003? He got a job because his man's got a job. He's just like us. 1995 fourth overall pick Michael Westbrook, he not only cost us that pick, he almost cost us Stephen Davis. Maybe 1992 fourth overall pick Desmond Howard. You know what? We really should not take a wide receiver in the first round ever ever again. More proof that we need to pay Terry McLaurin to stay. But the carnage isn't all out wide. There's tackle Andre Johnson, who never played a single down for the team. Defense gave us David Emerson, Bobby Wilson, Bakari Rambo, Sua Cravens, and Leron Landry, which brings us to the worst pick in franchise history. 2012 second overall pick, Robert Griffin III. I'm just playing. Those of you that were even thinking RG3 or called in to suggest him on 980 need to get off the boat and take a long look in your barber's mirror. Now, one of those players I just named gave us even one day, not one day, of the joy RG3 gave us for one magical season. Y'all know good and damn well the correct answer is Heath Schuler. He was drafted right after Hall of Famer Marshall Falk and right before All-Pro Willie McGinnis and lost his job immediately to a guy named Gus.